spices, the case, everything blended. Amazing. Boom, all right. You got invited to the party. There's a big game going on. You gotta show up with something to knock it out of the park. They say, just bring a side dish. What can I bring? Somebody's bringing a pasta salad. Somebody's already bringing some sliced up tri-tips. Somebody's already bringing the main dish or maybe the main dish is already at that place. They say, just bring chips and dip. Just bring chips and dip. Wait a minute. I can't win with chips and dip. Yes, you can. You can win with a smoked queso. Look at this. Boom. The best way to do it, processed cheese, cream cheese, some tomatillos, diced jalapenos, some rotel, little wagyu, onion, and don't forget the chips. What kind of chips, Alexander? Championships. Championships, that's right. We're gonna make up our own chips, homemade right here. Championships, the best way to win it. You wanna knock it out of the park for your team? You wanna win this? Smoked queso, that's right. The one that's going viral all over the place. This is the smoked queso you're gonna wanna take because you'll win with it. All right, so like any other process where you're cooking, whatever's gonna take the longest, you wanna get that going first. In this case, we gotta brown this ground beef, so let's get it in the pan. So I like to use this old fashioned potato smasher, mashed potato smasher, um, to get my ground beef really, really broken up. Just kind of getting it into smaller kind of chunks now. All right, this dip is super simple. While our beef is getting browned, we're just gonna simply start prepping the rest of our ingredients. I know some people don't like processed cheese, but man, there's no other melty ooey gooey cheese than Velveeta processed cheese. And if you don't like it, you can use something else. Just like always, make it your own. Okay, so I just really cut this into little chunks like this, and I'm gonna line it up, just kind of set it up in the pan. All right, let's check on this ground beef here. Yep, getting nice and brown. We want small chunks, because we want this, when our cheese gets all melty, when our dip gets all melty, we want this to just be just layered throughout. I think we're good. Let this sit, let's get back to our prep. All right, we got our processed cheese or our Velveeta cheese in there. Um, let's, actually, you know what, let me, let me slide this over a little bit. You see this? The layering on this thing is actually pretty cool. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna get some cream cheese in there. And you can go with a cream cheese, you can go with like a, a mozzarella, you can go with pretty much anything. I like the consistency of the cream cheese. Um, I like what it does in from the smoker. Now, this has been at room temperature, so oof, it would be better if I had refrigerated this and cut a little easier. I am a little concerned how this is gonna go. Yeah, this is room temperature. Cream cheese is not the easiest thing to cut. So we're just gonna take this and I wanna put this right in there. Bam, just like that. All right, next thing I wanna do is get about half of this onion, maybe a little more. All right, let's chop it up. And you want these chopped up small. All right, and with that, finely diced onions, you're gonna take just put them right in the pan. All right, let's get our beef in there now, our ground beef. I'll tell you what, I didn't even have to drain the grease off of this. This Wagyu um, was really, really lean. So let's just get this in our pan, put it right here, right in front of the Velveeta. Still a little warm, even if it melts the Velveeta a little bit, that's fine. It's not going in the smoker just yet. It will, and everything's gonna melt anyway. All right, next thing I wanna do is I wanna put some Rotel in there. I like to go with the uh, the Rotel. I would, would have liked to have had um, medium heat, but all I could find was the original. Probably still medium heat. If I remember this Rotel, is it, it's, it's got a little kick to it, not a lot. It's basically just diced tomatoes and green chilies with a little spice. Not much, but just enough. You still want the kids to be able to eat it. Juice and all. That juice is gonna help add a little moisture to the mix to keep everything from drying out because being in the smoker will kind of dry this. It'll tend to dry this out a little bit, but the juice from the Rotel, as well as the peppers, the, the jalapenos that we're about to put in, it's also gonna add a little bit more moisture to help keep everything moist. All right, 
And then for um, some heat, uh, we got a little bit of heat right here, not a lot of heat. If you know Rotel, you know there's not a lot of heat, there's a little spice. For the heat, I do like to go with a little bit of the, uh, the, the pickled um, jalapenos, and these are chopped, so, and I'm gonna spoon these out because I'm not gonna go with the entire jar, and there's a lot of juice in here, but we are gonna go with about three quarters of this jar. And the juice that comes with it is just naturally gonna, that's fine. Next thing I want to do is I want to throw some tomatillos in here. I want these tomatillos chopped up, finely diced, really small little pieces, because I want that smoke to get into the tomatillos, and I want them to just get really soft, and they'll just kind of dissolve, well, not really dissolve, but they'll just kind of blend throughout the entire dip once we stir it up. This is gonna be amazing. All right, let's chop them up. All right, I think that's plenty of tomatillos to go in this dip. This is gonna be excellent. We'll just put this right in there. The smoke is just gonna get all in, up, and around this stuff. Man, this is gonna be de-freaking-licious. All right, pretty much this is it. This is your ingredients for smoked queso. Really easy. Again, there's a million different videos online. There's a million different ways to do this. This is how we like to do it. And we switch it up, like I said, with the meat. Sometimes we do a little pulled pork. Sometimes we do a little ground beef. Next time, maybe it's some sausage. I don't know, you choose. Anyhow, let's get our smoker fired up and let's start on those champion chips. All right, so I'd like to go ahead and smoke this thing with my master bill because it's got uh, real chunks of wood, but my, my pan here is just, you know, this dip tray is just too big to fit in. I got a small uh, little master bill 320S. So I'm gonna have to put it in the pit boss. It's a pellet smoker, no big deal. I mean, we're still gonna get some smoke, but it's big enough to handle the big tray. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up. All right, so while the smoker's going, getting our dip going out there, let's get those championships going. Really simple, and I go with street taco size uh, tortillas. Uh, if you've got a dip, man, you gotta make your own chips. Simplest thing in the world to do, I just take it and either, bam, right there, boom. Perfect, or you can roll it out with a, uh, a pizza cutter. Let's try the big cut. Wow. Boom, just like that. Thank you, Uncle Don. Wouldn't be able to do that with the pizza cutter. All right, here we go. Can it happen? If you've got a steady hand. Just like that. Boom, let's get that grease going. Okay, so if I'm gonna deep fry something, I don't, I don't have a deep fryer, but um, it, I just use a, a pan, and I wanna go with kind of a deeper one. I like my cast iron skillet. One of the things I don't do is just turn it up to high or turn it up to medium all of a sudden. I like to introduce the heat slowly because I don't wanna just blast this thing with heat and get some dissimilar uh, uh, expansion and contraction. So I started off at two, I just kicked it up to four. Um, as soon as I feel like this thing is starting to get warm, I'm gonna put some of my oil in there and enough to uh, uh, bathe these chips in. Okay, so here's the station for the championships. We got our cut up tortillas, little uh, utensil right there, deep skillet with the oil, um, little uh, bowl right here. And what makes these things championships is really, it's I dust them just lightly with my rub. Now this is not adobo. Um, if you can see, I scratched that out. I actually got my own little rub in there. This is what I use on the pork butt. I use it on chicken. It's my own little blend. Um, back there is the simple beef rub. But um, this is what makes it the championships. Homemade chips, fried in oil at home, dusted with a little bit of the pork rub. Okay, so let's check our pan to see if it's ready. A little bit of water, tiny bit, right there, we're ready to go. You want to be careful with that. Don't throw a big old handful of water in there, and that's how people get burned bad. So we're just going to lower these in, little by little. Okay, so keeping them kind of from clumping together and sticking together, looking at these bad boys. These are just starting to get that little golden brown look on them. They're right there. We want to pull them, 
nice and easy. Drain the grease, off in the bowl. Because these still have the grease on them and the grease is at cooking temperature, even when you pull them out, they've got grease on them, they're still gonna continue to cook. So remember, pull them a little earlier. Don't wait till they get all golden brown because they're gonna continue to cook even over here in the bowl. All right, now, like I said, what makes these things championships is a little dusting, just a light, a light dusting of that champion rub. Just a little bit. And we'll get some more in here. Let's go check that dip. Now, this is only after about 20 minutes, so I'm not expecting much. And exactly, there we go. The cheese is actually starting to soften up back there. The Velveeta is, that Philly is looking right. Everything in here is just kind of gelling. I want it up to about 300, and it's gonna stay, stay at 300 for about 45 minutes to an hour. That's when everything in here is just gonna get gooey gooey and we'll start stirring it before we take it out. Championships done. Let's go check that champion dip. All right, let's give this a look. Oh yeah, I'm doing exactly what we want it to do. Let's just give it a little stir, start blending everything in. This is after about 40 minutes in the smoker. Just like that, champion dip. The best thing to go with the champion dip is champion chips. Man, straight from the smoker, woo! This bad boy is hot. I'll tell you what, I ain't gonna be able to hit this. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. That's some good dip. Good lord. Let's see what everybody else thinks. It's about this dip, it's the champion dip. It's champion dip. You guys get some champion chips. <laughs> That dog loves them championships. This, the spices, the case, everything blended. Amazing. It's Glad you like it. What you amazing. Think Woo! Winning every time. If people think it's amazing, it's winning every time. 10 out of 10. I say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You know what? Really this is good. good as a dip. This is good. Actually, you know what? We're going to do some pulled pork sandwiches here in a little bit. We're going to put some of this on top of the pulled pork sandwiches. What? If you guys want to win with an epic dip, follow this recipe, you'll win it. You want to hit it out of the park? Mm. Champion dip. Epic. Don't forget your champion epic chips. Like, Boom. share, subscribe, please. Like, prepare, some subscribe, please. Woo!